right at Changi Airport in Singapore. I have about 11 hour layover. So we could hang out in the airport. I know it's for the airport, but maybe we'll come back here. But let's go explore Singapore. All right, let's get out of the airport. I spent too much of my life inside of the airport. Let's get going. Pretty cool though. All right, welcome to Singapore. I mean, outside, very easy to get outside, especially as an Australian. For most other countries, it's pretty easy too. Just uh, you have to do an electronic health health check. And Aussies, we get to swipe our passport and go through automatically, so pretty easy. And I was trying to work out what I want to do. I've actually spent a lot of time here in Singapore. Uh, about seven, eight years ago, one of my cruise ships that I worked on docked here for one month while I got uh, renovated, uh, dry dock we call it. And um, when we weren't working, we could go explore Singapore. So I got to explore quite a lot of Singapore. What's that, probably eight to 10 years ago. Um, probably a lot has changed, like a lot of the Marina Bay area is still getting built up. Um, but I was going to do some of the places I used to love to go, the Little India, a uh, little shopping center that I used to enjoy to get a some food. Um, but I thought I'd try something new. So this place required going on the bus instead of the train. It's very close to the airport. It was only like a 20 minute bus ride. Um, it's now just past four o'clock, so I don't know whether it's peak hour or something like that. I put two dollars into the bus machine. I, I know you can get a train card, like a uh, transport card, but one day I just uh, don't bother. So I just put two dollars in the bus machine. He gave me a ticket, so it worked. Um, yeah, and we end up here. I'll show you where we are on the map. This is called the fishing pond. A lot of green space on this map, on the Google Maps. I was just clicking around and go, oh, it looks interesting. Try that, give it a go. I could easily go downtown where everyone else goes, but maybe we'll go that later, see how I feel. It's four o'clock, so it's cooling down, I think. Uh, I think it was 31 degrees when we landed, but it's not as bad now. This guy caught a fish. and crickets or some sort of birds in the background very peaceful good 
nature getaway if you want to do that in Singapore. Free to do, walk around. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do it in the middle of the day. Still a bit muggy at this time of day, but it's pretty nice. It's a lovely spot, a really great place to exercise, go for a run, bike ride, got barbecues. Oh wow, there's even a beach. Wow, this is cool. I never saw this in Singapore before. Don't know how nice the water would be to swim. And this island here is part of Singapore. Then I think over there, the next island or the next land is Malaysia. So we've got Singapore here. And then I think over there might be Malaysia. And then we've got the airport. I saw a plane just go down here. So the airport's just, the airport's just here. Very nice. It would be a cool spot to live close to this park. No excuse not to go running, bike riding, walking, have a picnic, kick the ball around. It's a good spot. All right, we've got a maze. Let's go through the maze. <laughs> the maze looks a bit dead, but let's give it a go. Cheating going out here? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I don't think that's the exit, but anyway. 
few spider webs. All right, got some exercise in, got some sweat out. Oh, I'm gonna find somewhere to cool down um, and get a drink or some food, yeah. Book a menu, We've got chicken and rice, tofu, pizza, dim sum, some juices. I think I'll get a juice. Um, Chinese food, rice garden, breakfast food, seafood, and nasi lemak, different Malaysian food maybe. Noodles, Indian, yeah. good range of options. It looks pretty decent price too. So we'll get some food. What should we get? Two stories of hawker, so plenty of options. Japanese. Too many options, I don't know what to get. All right, I rent for crispy chicken curry with noodles. Looks pretty good. Three dollars fifty Singaporean, and I got a watermelon juice for two dollars twenty. So all up five dollars seventy. So I'll put that on screen. How much that's worth? Let's just try the broth. Oi. See how spicy it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Coconut curry. Yum. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you after. What a cool little area, I love it. I could live here. If I had to, if I had a teaching job or something in Singapore, I'd wanna live around here. The exercise, the nature, the running, the landscape, that hawker store, uh, hawker mall. There's two stories, so it's, you could probably eat at a different restaurant every day for a month. And down here, next to the fishing pond, lights are getting turned on. Looks like a few little bars. Let's see how much a beer costs. If it's not too expensive, we could get a beer. Um, yeah, I could live here. I, I'm not sure if this is more the expensive area of Singapore or uh, where it lands in the ranking in Singapore, but it seems like a cool little spot. Um, not too far from the airport. I'm not sure how long it would take to get downtown, but I don't think it would take too long. Let's see how much is a beer. No price. Just missed happy hour, happy hour four to six. Ten dollars for one beer. I was like, no, happy hour is like four dollars. So maybe she misunderstood. Like, that's a big jump up in price, ain't it? Four dollars to ten dollars. But right, I think I am gonna head back to the airport. That walk took quite a lot out of me. Uh, and we'll go check out the airport. Let's go. Come here, nearby can, no problem. But the important you must take the handsome picture. Ah. Yeah, no yeah. handsome letter, he angry. Ah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Can, can take anywhere. You coming down, take also can. But must take handsome place. Ah. No handsome, angry ah, later. Got in. <laughs>
All right, while you watch the fountain display, let me just give a bit of a summary of Singapore. I really enjoyed my trip getting out and doing the nature side. I don't know if you'd want to do that. It's getting sweaty and hot and sweaty. But if you were to do an overnighter and stay in a hotel away from the airport or away from downtown, I'd totally recommend that area. Whether you can find hotels, I'm not totally sure. But it was a good spot for nature, the beach, I hope you can swim in that beach, that would be awesome. Uh, with the airport, the airport solo and on a budget, I didn't have the, as much fun as other people seem to say it is. Um, you do have the fountain show which you're watching now which was awesome. Where this fountain show is, sort of terminal one, terminal two, the jewel it's called. Very expensive shops and restaurants. If you want to eat something a bit cheaper, I maybe recommend you go to Terminal 3 where you can find a bit of a food court and I believe I think it was slightly cheaper there not much but a little bit cheaper but overall a good trip I had here in Singapore I will see you in the next video